Hello, I am Jorge Escobar and today we are going to learn how to run a script on Linux. Ok, first, most of the time you are going to find your scripts on pages like this one. This is GitHub. And as you can see, I already opened a repository or a location where the code is going to be residing. The script that we are going to run is this one here. It's called hello world.sh. Down here, once I click on it, I'm going to see the actual source code that I need to execute. And since there is no a download button, the question is how I am I going to save this? Well, you can either select the entire code, copy the code, and paste it in a notepad or something like that. If you are working with Linux, you may have um, another text editor. I am working on Windows in my case. The easiest way to download this file directly is to locate this button here, the row button on the right side of the screen. It's this button here. And that button is going to give you the actual code. If you right click on it and then save link as you are going to be able to actually save the the source code even with the with the extension here okay i'm going to save it on my in my case i'm going to save it in my user on my user folder i'm going to select the same name it's going to be called hello world.sh Remember that it's on my username, basically my user folder. And that's it. I just downloaded uh, the source code itself. If I click to open it, there we go. This is the source code for my script. It's a very simple script. And the only thing that it does is to say hello world and that's pretty much it. However, I'm not going to be able to execute it as is right now. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to open the Linux command line terminal. This is a tool where you are going to be running your scripts and any other uh, command for that matter. Okay? you might be familiar with the ls command. This command is going to show a list of all your files that belong to the current directory that you are running this command. Somewhere around there must be the file that we are going to run. And here it is, it's this one here. Here we have hello world.sh. However, we are not going to be able to run the file as s. We need to do something first. We need to give permissions to that file to be able to execute. So how do we do that? I'm going to clear the screen with control L. Now, I already know that my script is there. So what I need to do is give the script permission uh, on Linux to be able to execute. How do we do that? With the ch mod command. With this command, you can add, let's add execution permit with, with lowercase x, we give execution permission to the file. And then we type the name of the file that we want. In this case, hello world.sh. Remember that in order for this command to work, I need to be located inside the same directory where this file is residing. It seems like it didn't do anything, but that only means that now I can run this script. 
in order to run the script, I only need to, I had several options. The easiest one is to type sh a space and then the name of the script. After I type this, I only click enter and the script is going to actually run. You can see that in the command line, we get the hello world message. And that's how you execute the scripts on Linux. That's the easiest way to do it. There is another way. Let's check that out really quickly here. Control L to clear the screen. And we may, we might actually refer to the script directly. In my case, since uh, the file, I'm going to ls again dot, I'm going to show all the sh, sh files here. If I want to execute that file in another manner, that could be dot, dash, and the name of the file. You can do this in cases where your, your command line uh, application is not located directly inside the, um, the directory where the script is. It should be working just the same. Well, that's it for today. Um, thank you for listening and goodbye.